Hello everybody and welcome back. Thanks for clicking this video. Well today I want to talk a little bit about uh, credibility. Where you get it because at the end of the day whether you're wanting to move into being a creative person, whether it's graphic design, music, video, editing, whatever, whatever it is that's creative, you have to have cre credibility first. Because if you're not credible, people are going to think, well, this guy isn't going to be able to deliver what I want him to deliver at the quality and price and in the deadline that I need it. Now, the way I see it, the way most people go about trying to get credibility is by going to college or university or whatever, getting an education, a degree. They think that once they have that degree, and if they get a decent enough degree, a 2-1 or a 1st, then that magically bestows on them credibility and that that signals to everybody that they can do the work and get the job done, that they're right for the job, you should hire them. Right? Well, I was having a conversation with someone at work and we were discussing, you know, my what I intend to do with this channel and you know, going forward, video editing, uh, being a freelance video editor. So some of my, my plans and goals. And he said, well, how are you gonna get, how are you gonna do that? You know, you don't have any degrees, you don't have any qualifications, and you, you need those things. Without them, you're not gonna get anywhere. And I said, well, just by putting videos and photos and displaying my work to people. That's how I'm going about upping my credibility. And it's a more real world. I'm not, I'm just displaying what I can produce and showing everyone that I can get content out regularly, that I'm quick and high quality. Because at the end of the day, don't tell someone that you're good at something, show them that you're good at it. And then they can judge for themselves whether they think, yeah, that's good enough. Is this quality work worth this price? You know, what makes me an authority to be telling other people and giving other people advice on how to do things? Well, in all honesty, I'm just starting out on this. I'm a, not even a year into making videos regularly. So, yeah, I don't have that much credibility. I can only show you what I'm doing and talk about my thought processes as I'm going along in this journey. And at the end of the day, you can either take what I think on board or challenge it or come up with your own ideas. But hey, this is just the best way I know. And this thought ties into other videos that I've done where I talk about YouTube being a CV, a portfolio site. Same thing with Instagram. I watched a recent Peter McKinnon video. He was saying exactly the same thing on Instagram, that in the online world, Instagram, especially for photographers, Instagram is seen as your portfolio. That's where companies are gonna go to look at your work and judge your work and then, you know, be hired or you know, collaborate with different people based on your work. You know, you can't just put on your social media profile 2-1 in photography or first class degree student in photography and have no pictures on your Instagram and expect to get work from that. It's just not how the world works. And there's many, many professional photographers and videographers who have zero qualifications but are doing it professionally for a living so people don't really care at the end of the day if you can do what they say you can do does it really matter if you've got a degree in coding as long as you can code the app or the website and get it running smoothly people don't care they just care about well, how much are you charging how long is it going to get take to do and am I going to happy with the results at the end of it? 
Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching if you made it this far. Throw some likes, some thumbs up on this video. And don't forget to throw a comment down below if there's anything you want to share. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching.